It seems like a lot of pressure to put on a child to ask them this question and it forces them to think about the future when surely we should be asking them about what they find fun now, what they enjoy, what lights them up and I think we could spend some more time asking ourselves this as adults. <laughs> I feel like this question gets harder as we get older. It's almost like there's this one elusive right path that we're meant to be following, that we have one destiny and one purpose in this world. It feels like society would be happier and lay off us a bit once we found that one thing that we are meant to be doing. But what if we just don't know what we're meant to be doing or we don't feel like there's something that we have a passion about? What if we've chosen a job and we don't feel happy in it, and we're going through the motions of each day. What if we have a vision for our lives and it just hasn't worked out that way? We haven't reached the milestones we thought we would do by a certain age. I want to show you that it's absolutely possible to live a life that is fulfilled and full of purpose and in line with your values and goals. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that intro. Honestly, guys, it took me like three hours to create that. I'm trying to be more artistic on my channel, so I hope you appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy it. So today we're going to be talking about Ikigai. It's a Japanese philosophy about finding something that brings you real fulfillment in life. I strongly believe that every human soul has something amazing and unique to contribute to the world and to society. Sadly, in my job as a doctor, I see and I'm reminded far too often that life is really short and precious and that we shouldn't be wasting time going through the motions and just doing things because we feel we should. We're duty bound. We're doing something that someone else told us we should be doing. There is so much to see and experience in the world. It'd be such a shame to waste it on things that don't light you up. There's the age old question of whether we should be working on our weaknesses or strengthening our strengths. And while there's no one right answer to this question, I've decided as I'm getting older that I should be focusing on my strengths. If you're pouring all your energy into improving your weaknesses in order to become a so-called well-rounded person, then you'll never really know what your full potential is. We all have things that we are naturally gifted at and that we are naturally drawn to. And if we focus on those things in our lives, we will live a life of success and fulfillment and happiness. Imagine if Beyonce, Queen Beyonce, had been pushed to become a lawyer or a dentist by her parents. Can you imagine a world without Beyonce's musical talent? It would be a sad place. <laughs> and did you know that Albert Einstein was kicked out of school for being a bad student? He was told that he was disruptive to the other students and that he was setting a bad example and that he would never amount to anything. And did you know that J.K. Rowling applied to 13, yes, 13 publishing companies before she got a yes for Harry Potter. Imagine if these people had doubted themselves and taken a different path in their lives. We would all be missing these amazing, amazing gifts that they, they have to give to the world. Imagine what gifts are being suppressed around the globe by people that just don't feel good enough or they are giving in to societal norms. We are so lucky that we have the opportunity to live the lives that we want these days. And so my question to you is, what are you holding yourself back from? Have you ever thought about what gifts and talents might be hiding inside of you, but you just haven't quite cracked them open yet? I've been pouring all of my energy recently into creating an online course specifically to help with this problem. About a year ago, I sent out a questionnaire to get to know you guys better. I'm very fortunate to have this channel and I love interacting with you and I felt like I just wanted to get to know you more as you get to know me. I asked you what you were struggling with in life and there were two major themes that kept showing up. One was confidence and self-esteem and two, was what to do with your life and knowing how to do that. I've spent the last year rolling those thoughts around in my head and working out how I can help with those two problems. And what I've come to the realization is that those two things are inextricably linked. Firstly, we need to feel confident in ourselves 
if we are going to do the things that really fulfill us in life. We need to be, be able to have belief in ourselves that we can achieve them. We need to be able to listen to our innermost self and know what it's saying before we can really understand and know what to do with our lives. I really felt once I'd read all the responses to that questionnaire that I wanted to reach out and firstly give you all a big hug. There were hundreds of responses to this questionnaire and I couldn't believe how open and honest and brave so many of you were with your answers. I had this overwhelming feeling that I just wanted to like reach out, give you all a big hug and a big pep talk and be like a big sister to you. But I realised that's not possible, which is why I have decided to create this online course because I thought that's a way that I can reach the most people. So I've poured all of my energy into creating a resource that will hopefully not just inspire you, but will also give you actionable steps. So the course is a five step program and by the end you'll feel more aligned with who you really are deep down and what you want to spend your time on this earth doing. Enrollment is open at the moment for a beta test group of the course which is a small pre-release of the course that's open to a select few number of people. It's at a heavily discounted price. The idea is that you get access to the full course in return for you giving me some feedback so I can hopefully improve the course and hone it ready for the full release in the new year course will go live on the 15th of November for the beta test group. Once you sign up you'll have lifetime access to the modules and all of them are pre-recorded so you will be able to do it at your own pace. I know that when I've signed up to online courses versus some of my friends some of them like to do them in dribs and drabs whereas I like to binge watch courses, do it all in one go, really absorb the information and take it as an immersive course. So it's completely up to you how you decide to sit the course. It's for you, it is a self-improvement course it's totally up to you how you choose to use it while I was preparing for this video and brainstorming and researching I came across a concept that really pinpointed what I was trying to get across the Japanese philosophy of Ikigai Ikigai is a motivating force something or someone that gives a person a sense of purpose or a reason for living Ikigai can be thought of of the crossover of four particular values what you love what the world needs, what you can be paid for, and what you're good at. Crossover point between the four of those things is Ikigai. It's the sweet spot, the holy grail, the elusive purpose and destiny that we're all searching for. So I'm gonna to recommend to you that you have a bit of time reflecting on all of these areas. I've added a link in the description box below, so click that and you'll be able to download the worksheet. It's absolutely free. You can fill that in. I'd spend 10, 15 minutes really honing in on those four areas and thinking about this. It's a great exercise. The questions that you might want to ask yourself, yourself in each of these areas. What you love? What brings you pure joy? What activities allow you to get into a complete flow state? What do you find yourself doing when you have free time or when you're procrastinating? What problems can you solve for others? How can you contribute to the world? Are there any social injustices that you find yourself wanting to solve? We're thinking about what we can get paid for. What services or products can you provide to your community in return for a payment? What is there a need for? Where is there a gap in the market? You're thinking about what you're good at, things that you find easy, that you think are obvious that other people don't necessarily find so obvious. What things do other people come to you for advice about? What I particularly like about this framework is that it recognises that while Ikigai is the sweet spot in the middle where all of those four values come together, the elusive purpose that we're all searching for in our life, there is value in the things that cross over just two or three of those things. Sometimes it's not possible to fulfill all of the sectors with one, one activity. You might find yourself doing something that you love and that the world needs, but that you can't necessarily get paid for. So for example, voluntary work, or you might be doing something that you are good at and that you're being paid for, but that you don't necessarily love, but that allows you to earn some money to do the things that you do love in your free time. I really encourage you after watching this video to go and download the cheat sheet down below, work through it, it's completely free and have a bit of reflective time thinking about how you can create Ikigai in your life. Don't forget to sign up to the beta test of my course if you want to find purpose in your life and you want some clarity and confidence and to live a life of joy, adventure and purpose. I'm only keeping enrollment open for a few more days at this price and after that it will be going up to the full price. If you're really busy at the moment or you've got exams coming up or you're super stressed with work, remember that you can save the course and do it whenever suits your schedule. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys!